Hey guys, Winnie here. Welcome back to my first DIY of 2021. So, I've been seeing a lot of these candles on Pinterest, on um, YouTube, and I thought I'll, you know, take a spin on how to do it for myself. So, what I want to, I want you guys to know from the beginning is I actually messed this up because I initially started using really hot water, which was terrible and. I watched a couple of videos and they were like you're supposed to actually use something that is lukewarm so if you're going to try this then have in mind to use something that is lukewarm and then yeah you're good to go so now my candles were super super short like I think I should have got something that was longer like way longer or twice longer than what I have but it's because I was actually in town and then I remembered oh I wanted to try the condo DIY so i li i really just got what i could get like i didn't have um an option i didn't have options to choose like long ones these were the only ones i could get and i got these from orca so these candles when they were from the pack they were actually a little bit soft like i didn't get why and it i don't know it was sort of like melty on the skin it wasn't like as hard and firm as other candles would be so anyway because my water was hot everything became super soft in like just a few like one or two minutes so i had to start molding everything and even though i had um what's it called i had like ideas and inspirations and pictures of things that i wanted to try and things that i wanted to try for like each color and everything um I don't know there's a funny thing about the candles it's like when you pick it it sh kind of shows you how it wants to go and then you just take it you take it from there so most of the things I did for these candles they weren't what I what I initially planned to do for them so yeah I guess a sort of a um do like do it how it goes sort of thing I don't even know how to put it but yeah if you decide to try it there's just However way you feel like the candle is bending or going, just follow it and then it will come out really good. Plus, I didn't have, um, what's it called, candle sticks or candle stands. So, I didn't want to do anything that required me having to use, like, a candle stand. So, yeah, that was, like, well, I had all of that in, in mind. as well. I needed something that could, like, stand on its own. So, like, for instance, this, two of the candles were, like, melted and they t were touching each other. So, I just, like, formed something out of that and I added an extra candle to make it look like, you know, a triple couple or whatever. <laughs> so, this design is actually very popular and this was something I really actually wanted to make. So, I was happy when um, one of the candles could actually do that. But as you guys can see, the black one which turns out it turned out to actually be a really deep green because after it melted the layer of black like came off and then it turned green so the last one was like super super melted like there was nothing i could do about it than to turn it into um a poop so yeah like <laughs> sorry guys that's what i could i seriously there was nothing i could it was like so melty so that was the only thing i could i just like I was initially going to actually throw it away, but then when I twisted and twisted, it just like gave me that, so I left it like that. So, for the rest of the candles, I decided to actually change the water and make it um lukewarm. So, those ones stayed in a bit longer, about 10 to 15 minutes. Then I went ahead and took a blade to scrape um, the previous ones. I had I wanted to scrape all the the other colors on the previous one so that like i could see the actual beauty of the thing because i wasn't feeling it but then um i didn't think i wanted to do more of this because i actually love these these colors actually work with um the vibe that i'm going for in my room so that's why you don't see all the colorful stuff even though they had colorful um candles yeah, these colors actually work for the vibe I'm going for in my living room now. So, I was like, I'll still, like, make use of them. And then, however way they turn out, like, I was going to stick to them. 
so at a point the water actually got cold because like i said it was lukewarm from the beginning so for the last two candles i actually um had to i had to add more like um hot water so the final one I actually just like twisted it sort of um like a snake coiling and this was actually my favorite it was very little it was cute and it was like actually very pretty so for the two um for these two like condos i made the act sort of design and i wanted to glue them together i wanted to put them together so i watched several videos some people use glue gun and it worked some people use super glue and it worked some people just melted the candle and glue and then it worked but other people will try the same thing and it didn't work as well and for me i thought the super glue was actually going to work but then when i put the super glue on it the candle actually started melting and the glue actually lost its power to stick so even on my fingers the glue won't stick so i had to like wipe it off and then i quickly rushed to the kitchen and i um i used the the fire to melt the side of the candle i put them together and voila like it was stuck together so if you try to do this particular design or anything that requires you like um putting two candles together then if one option doesn't work you want to try the other option so this is the final look this is what they ended up looking like and i also wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you actually light them and oh my goodness this is so pretty like i don't know it looked like um like a praying altar or whatever and oh my goodness it's like so lovely so one thing i wanted to add before i leave when you're lighting these candles make sure you place like a cute trinkets or um plates underneath so that the droplets can drop onto the plate and not onto your table so this is the end of 